Hi everyone, this is Yaku. Today I am going to explaining you how to create new database in our Oracle server. And after creating, then how to create new table in your database with Java JDBC code that is also statically. In my previous video, already I explained you how to create JDBC application folder. And after creating it, already we added one jar that is called OJDBC 14. Because of, I am going to using here Oracle 10G. Okay. Now, slowly, I am going to explaining you how to create new database in our Oracle server. This is my first one. Okay. Let us see how to create new database in Oracle server. So before going to creating new database in Oracle server, first we need to install Oracle database in our laptop or in our PC. Guys, I already installed Oracle software in my PC. Then I am going to opening that database. So what I will do here, we have a search engine, search box. Here you can type simply SQL, SQL. Once you click SQL, here it will be display the what one cell run SQL command line. Just click on it. Right. Once you click on it and here our server will be open. Okay. By default, Oracle server username is system. And uh, while I am going to install, means while we are going to install our Oracle server, every Oracle server can ask uh, one database, sorry, one password. Okay, I given password also system. So initially, I am going to connecting with Oracle server. Inside the server, now I am going to creating one new database. So let us see how to create new database in our Oracle server after creating it and how to provide the privileges, means permissions to creating, inserting, updating in your database, right? So to create a new user, here I am going to using one command, create command, then use user. And here you can use database name. Now my database name is what? Yakub DB. I am going to creating with my name, Yakub DB. And identified by, identified by, this is what our database password. Database password also Yakub DB, I give it. Just give the semicolon, hit enter button. So guys, uh, here I am getting error. Reason is what already, already Yakub database is uh, there. Okay. Now I am going to creating another one, another one. So simply I am going to creating one more database. That is what rows DB identified by, identified by rows DB. Rose DB. You can use any database, just I am creating new database. Now you can see, guys, create user Rose DB identified by Rose DB means uh, my database username is Rose DB and password also Rose DB. So after creating database, now I am going to providing granting the permission. So to grant your permission, here we need to one command. The command name is what grant. So along with you can use connect comma resource DBA to DBA to my database name is what rose DB. Right? Simply you can use this command. Just I'm going to copy in here and paste in your command. So once paste, just click on enter button. Look at here, guys. Already permissions are granted. Right? Like this, we are going to creating new database in our Oracle server. See guys, just now I created this database. Okay, after creating it, now I'm going to connecting with Rose DB. So to connect with Rose DB, just you can use one command, one command connect. My database name is a Rose DB, password also Rose DB. And give semicolon, then enter. Now we are in Rose database. Just now we created, till now we don't have a, any table. 
slowly i am going to creating new table new table in our rows db guys so let us see one by one okay how to create how to create new table in your database by using java jdbc code so before that i will explain you here i am going to explain select a star from just i am giving tab so this command tell you how many tables you you are created in rows db initially we don't have a, any table in rows db now i am going to creating with jdbc java code right so look at here how to create so simple how to create table in oracle database with a java jdbc code right and this one i am going to explaining you java java programming language in our oracle database so guys here i am giving small image you will get more clarity you will get more clarity so this will explain you clearly listen guys please understand this is nothing but a my dot java file now i am going to creating in dot java file just i am going to creating table with five lines code already we know already we know which one the first statement is what loading the driver class second one is creating the connection third one is creating the statement fourth one is execute that statement into our database and just i am going to displaying confirmation is it created or not and the last statement is nothing but a con dot close so simply i am going to creating here java code with dot java file after creating it just you can run automatically automatically this query can executed in our oracle database and uh, our database name is what okay i given database name is what here oracle sorry rose db what is the database name rose db i created inside the rose db now i am going to creating one employee table with three columns okay so this is my way so to creating to creating new table into rose db simply we are going to creating one i am going to using here create command create command with statement interface so today i am going to writing first application with static query static query okay let us see and how to write our first static jdbc application in our for our oracle database right guys understand this is my our eclipse ide and already yesterday we created one folder that is what jdbc application jdbc application and already we added our jar that is called ojdbc 14 jar now i am going to creating first class okay what you will do go to src right click on it and go to new and here you can take class okay my class name is create table my class name is what create table and uh, here take a main method and do finish okay and automatically our class is going to creating just i am going to maximizing here okay this is our static application with jdbc so you know guys to connect and execute sql query between java application to database we have a five statements right and that five statements i am going to creating between the try and catch block so why this one because of okay while while doing any what while doing except while doing uh, uh, what performing run operation if any runtime any runtime errors will be occurred and that runtime error we are going to handling with a uh, handling with a uh, our try catch block okay so that's why i am going to writing here try catch block system dot out dot print just i am going to returning the our ex object so now you know to connect and performing crud operation to connect to performing crud operation we have a five statements and that statement i am going to write it clearly 
okay now the first statement is what here you can write class dot method name is for name and here driver name what a driver name oracle dot jdbc dot driver dot and a oracle driver this is the first one and understand before going to writing this statement this all the statement means uh, this statement this statement using some interfaces classes and methods these all are available in one package the package name is what uh, what sql package that is what import import java dot sql dot star semicolon right we are writing here jdbc code complete jdbc api classes interfaces and methods given in java dot sql package so it must be imported now the next statement is connection connection on is equal to and uh, you know driver manager dot uh, we are using get connection method and this method can hold three types of code url username and password now url is what jdbc colon oracle colon pin colon at the rate local host colon 1521 colon xe and here you can use your database name my database name is rose db and my password also rose db understand this is the my connection statement now i am going to creating statement with statement interface statement stmt is equal to con dot create statement so creating statement object here i taken reference connection object with the help of create statement method so my statement object is ready with this statement object now i am going to creating the query so stmt dot here i am going to using execute update method execute update method you can use execute also no problem and here i am writing the query query is what create table my table name is employee and in that i am going to taking three columns three columns you know guys the first column name is employee id second column name is employee name third column name is salary employee id is a integer means number type employee name is a string type and salary is nothing but a decimal type right so i am going to creating three columns the first column name is employee id so i am taking here number and my column size is something called data size is what 30 and second column name is employee name and a string value always store with var char var char to of something called 40 and comma i am going to creating one more column that is what salary even this one also number number but understand number if you give number it will take the pure integer value so i want to create which one decimal value so 38 comma here i am going to using two. two means what and it will it will take the after number it will take the two decimal point numbers so my query is ready and here i am going to using my confirmation so simply what i am doing okay new table is a created like that i am going to displaying small messages and after that see guys first loaded driver class created the connection created the statement by using statement object and same statement object using to creating the query and finally executing that query in my database finally i am going to close the connection you know already i explain you right so this is the simple code simple code to creating table in our oracle database right 
this is the complete code guys please understand okay please understand so this is the complete code i am going to showing you so simply after complete this one now what you will do right click on it and here go with run as a java application okay select and okay now you can see the output what happened is that our table is created or not see guys new table is created new table is created okay means uh, our program is successfully executed now once we'll check in our oracle database is it created or not our employee table with employee name now go to our oracle database and here you can check so previously i given select star from tab so what happened no row is selected now i am giving same same command once you hit guys now new table is created new table is created right and just to see your table description you can use table desc and table name you can use now you can see understand i given three columns right first column is number type second column is string type so where care 240 and third column is decimal type so number 32 comma 2 right so this is the first program how to create table in our oracle database with java jdbc code okay are you understand okay thank you guys okay like this you can practice with your laptop you will get more clarity so we'll meet again with next video with how to insert a new table record with JDBC Java code statically. I hope you understand. Thank you.